guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I posted a video. I, earlier in the channel, I told you guys I got a couple hobbies. The FPV, drones, quads, and race cars. This is the other hobby. I don't know why I never videoed this car and put it up on YouTube. It's a 2013 Mustang GT with a 5.0 Coyote. It was a stick. I just recently swapped it over to an automatic with a quick six controller for the auto trans. Had a custom uh, shifter made, it looks like stock. Rear end's fully done. Mosher axles, fully, fully done axles. Uh, a lot of stuff done to the rear end. Car's been lowered, big brake kit. It's a big turbo car. On stock ECU, she produced about 1,300 horse on E85. It's one of the most well-known Mustangs in the city of Atlanta. It's got a name. It's called Corn Fed. This is my other hobby. This car has been sitting for over a year and a half. It hasn't ran. It hasn't did nothing. But sitting in a garage collecting dust, I just recently took the stock ECU out and replaced it with a fuel tech. As we can see right there. It's a standalone computer for race cars. It works really well. <laughs> fuel tech support ain't all that good. They help you with little things here and there, and then they hang up on you. I mean, they're okay when you get the right guy on the phone. He knows what he's talking about. Motors built by TKM in Charlotte, North Carolina. Motors capable of very high horsepower. I'm not going to give you guys any numbers or any horsepower numbers like that after this. It's a... 80 mil, big turbo, ball bearings. She did produce 1300 on a stock ECU. I tuned it the past couple of days, got it idling really good. She starts good, idles run. I'll put up a video on that at the end. A little clip of it <laughs> idling in the driveway. Me tuning it on the laptop. Thursday, she's going to an actual tuner because I don't know what the hell I'm doing with tuning. Every time I try to get somebody to help me, especially Cy Lee from Florida, he kind of got mad at me because I put the computer in myself. He didn't want to tune the car no more after that. I guess he didn't want to pay him $10,000 to install it, so he didn't want to tune it. <laughs> He's been my tuner for the car the past five years. Big brake kit. This car is going to a tuner. That's all he does is fuel tech. He's a really good guy, is Nick. On Thursday, we will put it on a trailer. I'll keep you guys updated on that. If you guys want to see more of this car and more we could do later on, it's early 2023, February 7th. We will do a lot of track racing this year, some street racing, and I will post. Many, many videos of this vehicle. I don't know why I never put it in YouTube in the past. Just never did. Been sitting for a year. Well, year and seven months, eight months. Finally getting it out now. There's a few things I got to do. Change around a little bit some things. <laughs> and I'm going to keep you guys posted on it, man. So if you guys out there want to see more of this car and what she can do. Uh, subscribe to my channel and catch me on Thursday. We'll do the dyno session. I'm doing the hub dyno. And fuel tech tuning. I'll videotape that and post that too on Thursday. Should be what, the 10th, 12th, 11th? And many videos to come. So like I said, if you want to see more of this crazy thing, like, subscribe, and hit that bell for the notifications. I've been holding this thing a secret. A lot of people in Atlanta want to see this car out again. Dying to race it. Dying to see it run. So, thank you guys. Sorry I haven't been putting any videos up. It's been a year and a half since I posted anything. A lot of things been going on with the family. Mom passed and things like that. Car is dirty. Please forgive the way the car looks. It hasn't been washed in months. But I will clean it up after Thursday. If I can before Thursday. 
take it to the tuner. But we gotta finish the roll cage. Uh, he's gotta put the doors in and weld a couple spots. Finish putting the console and the wiring together for the trans brake and line lock. And finish doing some of the turbo work. I got a couple things I wanna change. I wanna go from air to air to air to water. Or water to air. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put that on order today. It's a beast of a machine. She put down 1300 on factory ECU. Just what you see right here, except that build's brand new. This build hasn't ran since TKM built it. TKM built the motor. I mean, they they do their good work, but Jesus, they like to lie to you. But all sorts of stuff. Uh, hit me up in the comments if you want to know more about this vehicle. It's a Georgia car. It's one of the fastest Mustangs in the city. I'll say they're fastest. There's plenty of faster cars out there. But thank you guys. I'll put in a I'll put a quick video of me tuning it earlier today at the end of the video. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys Thursday.